Drew Peterson still behind bars as prosecutors seek a new judge to handle the case. Joining us is attorney Tamara Holder, who was inside the courtroom yesterday when they brought Peterson in. So let's first talk about that. They brought him in. What was his demeanor? What did he look like? Drew thought this was like just another part of the circus. I mean, he is not taking this seriously whatsoever. He was smirking, he was smiling, he glared at the Savio family. He thinks that this is part of the game. You were saying that uh, perhaps he was doing a little flirting too with this new lawyer on his team, which is actually not a new lawyer from my understanding. It's someone that they have now trotted out in front, an attractive uh, younger woman perhaps to kind of show that he is maybe not this animal that everybody thinks he is. Is that kind of the idea, the thinking behind this? I don't know. I mean, she has been part of the, the team for a while now. I mean, she's Brodsky's partner. This, is, this was the day that she filed her appearance. So I don't know if there's like a technique or some kind of, you know, motive behind it. But Drew was definitely checking her out in court. She was wearing a nice, tight little black suit. And Drew, you know, likes well, that. Why did they put her in front of the cameras yesterday and make this announcement? There's this new attorney joining the team. Because that's kind of how it was portrayed to the media yesterday. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, she filed her appearance yesterday. So there, it's not like there's been this long, drawn-out court process where she had an opportunity to previously file her appearance. That's all she did was show up to court and file her appearance. She didn't say anything. Another big development yesterday, obviously. He's still in jail. He's still behind bars this morning because one of the attorneys, the, the prosecutor, decided to go ahead and file a motion to have the judge dismissed. What was your thoughts about that when you heard that? I've never seen that before. Usually what happens is the defense attorney will file a substitution of judge because um, he wants, he doesn't like that judge for his client. So it was a very rare move and there was a lot of back and forth in the courtroom whether whether the uh, Mr. Glasgow had to provide a reason as to why he was making this motion. And Brodsky said, look, I want an opportunity to to respond to this because this is not normal procedure mm -hmm. and, and, it, and there needs to be a reason why there's an SOJ. Yeah, it's bizarre the prosecution going and trying to remove the judge. So what is the relation here between Drew Peterson and this judge? I know that he had dismissed some weapons charges or had given some guns back earlier um, this year to Drew Peterson. Is that the only thing? I don't think so. I mean, there were a lot of whispers in the courtroom that maybe Drew Peterson knows this judge. Remember, Will County is a small county. Drew Peterson was a celebrated, uh, you know, Bolingbrook police officer. So maybe there is a connection. Maybe these two played golf together. Mr. Glasgow knows what he's doing. He filed this motion on the very first day. Was this, this was the very first thing that he did. He has a reason why he wanted this judge out. So in the meantime, Drew Peterson is going to sit in jail until they can figure out the judge situation because that's the first step in order to set bail, correct? Correct. The, well, the bail has already been set. Right. That, that was set at uh, two, get $20 million, dollars, right. but Brodsky's saying, I want this lowered. Right. My client can't post this. It's extraordinarily high. Cruel and unusual punishment charges or, so, or claims. So, so it won't be heard again until a new judge is decided. Hmm. So you're close with the Savio family. You were in court with them yesterday. What were their thoughts about everything? This for them, I think, is just the first step. To, to hopefully justice. I mean, they've been waiting for this for five years now. They've known for five years that Drew Peterson killed their loved one. And so to hear the, of the charges, I think, was a big deal to them, but it's not over. And for them to see Drew Peterson in shackles is a great feeling, but they want to know that he's going to be locked away forever. What about his demeanor and stuff? Are they, is that something they expect, I guess, at this point? I think this has been Drew's demeanor this whole time, very flip and you know, just doesn't, this doesn't matter. I mean, he sat there and glared at Charlie Doman um, and kind of just smirked. It's not a big deal to, to, uh, to Drew Peterson. Okay, Tamara Holder, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. You. Coming up, how about uh, getting...